Hi church. I've been thinking a lot about snow, probably because we got some yesterday. Um, but it's this perfect white blanket that is just covering our town and kind of just feels fresh, you know? But I'll be honest, when the first few flakes start to fall every time, I get this feeling of like, oh, why? Uh, I'm not happy about it. I start to see other people complain like, oh, here we go, we're getting snow again. Even though living here in the Northeast, specifically in Buffalo, we know it's bound to happen. Um, but I started to realize that as an adult, snow is just so much more of an inconvenience between driving in it, having to bundle up for it, shoveling, etc. Snow just has become such a hassle. When I was younger, I loved the snow. The pending wish for snow days, snowball fights, making snowmen, climbing up and down the hills that were made in our school parking lot, sledding in the backyard, and even being outside for so long that my face would literally have welts. I just, now, I just kind of dread it. Uh, luckily we haven't had that much this year. <laughs> I feel lucky by that anyway. But I do enjoy it like on Christmas when it feels like you're living inside a human-sized snow globe. But in the midst of complaining about snow, I was reminded of a post that I saw on Facebook last year that said, If you choose not to find joy in the snow, you will have less joy in your life, but still the same amount of snow. <laughs> and that post uh, is really what I started thinking about yesterday. Um, but it forced to think me, forced me to think about this weather that I've grown to dislike in a different light. In Philippians 4, my Bible has a study note that says, True contentment is the result of a heart committed to the risen Lord. Think of all the sins, pain, and brokenness that come from coveting. Adultery, murder, stealing, and lying can all be traced directly to a prior condition when hearts and minds are frustrated and discontent. Notice what Paul says doesn't come naturally. It is learned. The normal, natural state of humanity is discontent and quiet desperation. It takes a powerful spiritual presence to transform anxiety into joyous satisfaction. Ironically, it may be the shackles more than his freedom that schools Paul in the art of contentment. Despite the chains, Paul discovers this beautiful state of inner peace through the power of Jesus residing in him. Joy, being one of the fruits of the Spirit, is a gift given to us from the Holy Spirit. So as hard as we try to seek external means of joy, true contentment can only be found in Christ by believing in him and accepting him into our hearts. So as we move forward into this wintry holiday season, I challenge you to find joy in things that usually bring a complaint to your lips. Whether it's you have a long line to wait in, or you are sick of the snow, Again, you'll still have the same amount of snow or same amount of line length to wait in if you don't choose to find joy in it. Remember that our joy comes from the Lord. Seek him and you will find true contentment.